Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be showing you my quick wash day routine, literally only 30 minutes. It's just something that I like to do from time to time if I don't have time to do like all 11 steps of my wash day. It's just quick and easy and I'm still able to maintain the health of my hair. So I just washed my hair and then I styled it two days later in this hairstyle here, which I also recorded today. So the tutorial will be up next week. But yes, let's get straight into this video. So I made this wash day even quicker by detangling my hair the night before. I just sprayed my hair with water and then applied a moisturiser and finger detangled my hair thoroughly. My hair was a hot, hot mess. It was a wash and go and it was a hot, humid, sweaty week. <laughs> so my roots were really matted. So my hair was a hot mess so it did take a little while to detangle. And then I just put them into these twists ready for wash day <laughs> so now I'm just gonna take them down and I'm gonna do a bit of a reverse wash day so I'm gonna start by conditioning my hair first because I find that my hair gets way too tangled after shampooing so I like to detangle first so even though I did go ahead and finger detangle the night before I like to go ahead and detangle again just to get like all the knots out so yeah I like to make sure that my hair is thoroughly detangled so really and truly, I'm only using the conditioner to detangle and then I'm just gonna wash it out right after. So to prevent my hair from tangling more, I keep my hair in those twists while shampooing and I shampoo the roots only first using the clarifying shampoo. And now I'm taking my scalp brush and massaging my roots with that just to stimulate the hair follicles and to get rid of all the dry scalp and the buildup that's on my scalp. And then I rinse and repeat. But the second time I'm going in with a moisturising shampoo and I'm focusing that on the roots as well. Once I'm done shampooing the roots, I take the twist down and take the shampoo all the way down to the ends. And I'm just raking that shampoo through my hair. And then once I've done that, I just rinse it out thoroughly. After I finish shampooing, I then go ahead and deep condition. Today I'm using the Shea Moisture Makuna Honey and Mafura Oil Intensive Hydration Hair Mask with Fig Extract and Bulbub Oil. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. I really, really did like this mask. It was very, very moisturizing. Like as soon as I applied it to my hair, it melted into my hair. So yeah, I'm just putting that into each section. I'm only working in two sections this time because my hair is completely detangled and it just makes it so much easier and quicker to just apply it into two sections. Obviously, if you have denser or thicker hair, then you're gonna have to do more sections. So I'm just gonna deep condition for as long as it takes me to shower, which is about 15 to 20 minutes. I'm not gonna apply any heat today because sometimes I don't actually have time to do that. So it's not something that I do every time I deep condition my hair. So yeah, I'm just applying that deep conditioner and then I go ahead and detangle once more and then twist the hair back up and then I pull it up into this bun and cover my hair with a deep conditioning cap. So yeah, I just go ahead and shower my body. Once I'm done showering, I go ahead and take the twist out and rinse my hair out thoroughly. Ready for the 
And once that's completely washed out, I go ahead and apply my leave-in conditioner. Today I'm using the Pantene Gold Series Leave-On Conditioning Milk. I've used it previously in another video. I think it was my straight to curly video. And the products worked just fine. But today I actually looked at the ingredients and saw quite a lot of ingredients that I don't particularly like to use anymore. It had a few parabens in it. It had silicones as well. For me, I don't really mind silicones because I know that I wash my hair with shampoo every week. So I know that I'm washing that off my hair. But for a lot of people who like to co-wash, silicones is probably not the best thing to be using. But yeah, if you are using silicone, just make sure that you're washing it off. So yeah, I'm just applying that while I'm in the shower instead of waiting until I get out. This way a lot of water gets sealed into my strands and it just makes the wash day a lot quicker as well. But I've started to do this recently because it just actually makes more sense. Can't say that I've seen a difference in my washer goes or my hairstyles, but yeah, I'll be doing that more often now. And once I'm done applying the leave-in conditioner, I go ahead and either twist or flat twist or cane row my hair. I like to do flat twist because it dries quicker and I would do cane rows if I had somewhere to go. So I switch it up from time to time. So I either do like four twists or two flat twists or just two braids or, you know, four braids or whatever. Just because I don't want to be wearing the same hairstyle over and over again. Because it does put stress on specific parts of your hair if you keep repeating the same hairstyle. So yeah, just switch it up from time to time. So today I just decided to put in the two flat twists in my hair. If you wanted to turn these twists into a twist out, I would suggest to put in a holding cream. So something more thicker to make the twist out come out less frizzy and less poofy. Because the leave-in condition is not going to really do much at all. So for the time that it took me to actually put the twist in my hair, my hair wasn't dripping wet anymore. So I didn't actually need a towel for my hair when I got out of the shower, which was good. So I just tied them to the back of my hair and then put my shower cap back on. So that they don't get wet when I'm showering off my body once more. So I'd usually wait until the next day until I style my hair. But this time I style my hair after two days. And this is the style that I decided to do. Very, very cute indeed if I do say so myself. <laughs> so yeah, if you do want to see the tutorial on my hair, the video for this will be up next week. But yes, that's all there is to it, guys. Your wash days don't have to be long and i say if you want to deep condition for longer go ahead and do that especially if you do feel like you have a certain issue with your hair like extra dryness or you need like a protein treatment or you feel like you need a scalp treatment even so yeah just go ahead and do that obviously if you have an issue if you have a certain issue that you want to help but yeah this is something i like to do when i don't have time and i'm trying to wash my hair at midnight and i just need to get it done quickly so yeah you can do quick wash days and still achieve healthy hair but yeah don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it and subscribe to my channel for more hair care tutorials for myself also what other videos would you like to see let me know in the comments below but yeah thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one bye